Hi, my name is Colleen Haight. I am a member of the Atherton Disaster and Preparedness Team and a Community Emergency Response Team member. I am also one of your neighbors in Atherton's Area 7. The purpose of this short video is to provide you with information on putting together an emergency bug out bag for you and your family. A bug out bag is essentially a small kit that you can grab and take with you in case you need to evacuate quickly in an emergency. For example, in the devastating fires that swept through the North Bay in the past couple years, people had very little time to collect items that were important to them before evacuating. A little bit of planning will help you get out quickly without leaving anything critical behind. The first part of your preparation is mental. You need to have a plan in mind before disaster strikes. For example, where will you go if you need to evacuate? Will you need a hotel? Or do you have out of area relatives or friends with whom you could stay? Perhaps you will camp somewhere. And importantly, does every member of your household know the plan? Knowing where you will go will help you know what really needs to be in your bag. Perhaps the most critical items include documents in your home files that you should plan to take with you, either in hard copies or electronically. These documents include copies of insurance policies, title documents, wills and trusts, passports, and birth and marriage certificates. You might consider collecting hard copies of these documents or, alternatively, loading electronic copies onto a thumb drive to keep in your bag. Having these items already in your bag means you have one less thing to think about when things get crazy. Another critical item to include are chargers and charging cables. Again, you might remember to grab your phone and wallet, but you won't have time to hunt for a charging cable. If your evacuation plan calls for grabbing your laptop computer, you might also include those cables as well. Your bug out bag should also include some clothes. Because an emergency can happen at any time, you may not be wearing clothing that is appropriate for an evacuation. For example, PJs and slippers. Pack some comfortable, warm clothes and walking shoes in your bag, taking into consideration that you may be evacuating in the middle of winter. A rain poncho, gloves, and a hat take up little room and can provide a lot of comfort. Other personal items would include spare glasses, if you need them, and a few days of any medications you need. A small bag of toiletries will also make you more comfortable. Consider adding some aspirin, Tylenol, or other over-the-counter items that you might use with some frequency. Some of the standard emergency items for your bag include drinking water, energy bars, some emergency cash, a notepad and pen or pencil, an all-in-one tool, duct tape, a first aid kit, hand sanitizer, N95 masks, and a flashlight and batteries. Additionally, there are a number of items that you may need depending on your evacuation plans. If you live in a remote area or your plan includes camping, you will need additional supplies. For a more comprehensive list, please consult our website, getreadyatherton.org slash two dash go dash bag dash list. Finally, as you prepare, don't forget your furry friends. Many of us have non-human family members who will need our help. Include a small bag of pet food, any medications, some travel dishes, extra water, and leashes and harnesses in your kit as well. You might also consider creating a flyer with your contact information and a photo of your pet, preferably with you, to use in case a pet goes missing. You can store it with your other documents for quick access should you need it. If you're interested in learning more about emergency preparations, please contact us at ADAPT. We will be happy to provide you with extra resources. ADAPT also conducts training classes at their monthly Saturday meetings. We invite you to join us. Please check our website for more information. 
You can find us at getreadyatherton.org.